Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. These are both sparkling flavored waters in a glass bottle. And these are both from the store Cost Plus World Market. Right now I'm in Park City, Utah on vacation and I got these waters to review. So we're gonna do it and we're gonna taste them and decide which one tastes the best. It's gonna move on to round two. So here we go. First up is a water from Italy. It's kind of generically named. It's just naturally flavored lemon glass sparkling essence water. I don't really see like a brand name on it. Um, yeah, and this was $1.50, I believe. Next up is clearly Canadian. This was $2.50. And this is the wild cherry version. And guess which country this is from? Yeah, clearly it's from Canada. <laughs> Um, I, I just watched a YouTube video from Dame Drops, the uh, you know the food and beverage reviewer on YouTube, and he was saying that this drink was gone for a while, like for several years, and I'm just getting the information from his video, but he said Rhett and Link from YouTube um, like inspired this drink coming back about two years ago, I think. Like there was a big Facebook campaign, which I didn't know about until a few minutes ago. Um, I've never tried this, but apparently it's, you know, has a lot of fans. Apparently this is a, a drink that a lot of people love, and I was not aware of it until just now. This is Wild Cherry. I think they have other flavors. This is Lemongrass. They have other flavors too. They had them at the store. I know they had Cucumber and some other flavors. So let's open them up and do a taste test comparison. Actually, this, this calls itself a sparkling water beverage. So this this one is kind of debatable whether or not this is actually a water, but this one does call itself a water. Um, and I think that's because this one has sugar added to it, and this one has, this Canadian water has 90 calories, which is very bad for a water. Um, this one has no calories, but this does have a bit of sodium. It has, this one has five milligrams of sodium. This one has no sodium. So here we go, let's open it up. Oh boy, oh crap. All right, it spilled a little bit, but not, not that bad. It smells like cherry. It says there's no natural flavors, I think, but it does have cane sugar and just citric acid and other, you know, scientific laboratory chemicals added to it to give it the flavor. It's pretty good. <laughs> it tastes a lot like just the Aldi brand flavored sparkling waters, pure agua. Yeah, it, it, it does not taste like water, though. It does have, like, an interesting aftertaste. Like, like a, a taste of cherry when you first put it in your mouth. Then, like, a bonus, a bonus taste of cherry after you swallow it, kind of. It's kind of weird. Here's the lemongrass water. The Cost Plus World Market is about 10 miles away, and I took the bus out there. So I might have shaken these up a little bit, you know, just transporting them back to the hotel place we're in now. Yeah, this one, um, there were, there were very few bubbles going out, but it does have a pretty strong sparkling taste to it. Hmm. Yeah, this one has a lot more like just clearly sugary taste to it. Like it's leaving sugary residue on my teeth after I swallow this one. I predicted wrong again. I bought a few of these clearly Canadian waters because I thought I would prefer 
just the taste of cherry. In you know, most of my videos, I prefer cherry for, for the flavored drinks, and that's usually the winner. So I kind of bought two of these and predicted it would be the winner. But honestly, the amount of like sugar that's left out in in my mouth after I swallow um, makes me have to say that this is second place out of the two, and that this is the winner. And the lemongrass is the the better water out of the two. So this is going to move on to round two. <coughs> just, it's just more pure. My mouth feels cleaner after drinking it. This is just... It does not taste like a water. Like, it tastes like a soda, like a Coke or something, like a cherry Coke. Like I can feel a little sugar on my teeth. Might as well just drink this one now, too, because it's not moving on to round two. Oh, boy. I just washed my hands because they were sticky from the sugar inside of the Clearly Canadian drink. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm here in Park City, Utah. I'm on vacation with my family, and we're here for about a week. And we've got just activities planned for the whole week. And this is like the only time during the trip that I have time alone to do these videos. Uh, my family's going on a horse riding trip right now, and uh, I just didn't feel like doing that, and I preferred to do my water videos. Uh, but I'll give you guys a tour of the the hotel, I guess. Here we go. Yeah, my parents have like a Marriott timeshare, so we get these pretty nice hotel suites. It comes with like a kitchen area. Here's a pull-out couch my brother has been sleeping on. It's pulled out. Here is my parents' bedroom. Got a view of uh, just a hillside. Um, they have a nice, you know, mini hot tub thing, bathroom, even comes with washer and dryer. Just comes fully equipped with uh, pots and pans and stuff. So instead of spending a bunch of money on food, if you're here for the whole week, you just cook for yourself. And here's my room. Got my own bed, my own view of a hillside, um, my own couch, TV. Here's big clumps of tape. I just shot some Let's Tape It episodes. Uh, my own mini kitchen area. Got some LaCroix in there. Bathroom, that's pretty much it. And then my sister and her husband have um, their own suite a couple doors down. In my closet I've got some waters I've already reviewed and some waters that I still need to review. And that's pretty much it. We've got a couple days left and I'm gonna try to find time to do at least two more water reviews after this.